So this is what we wish we knew going into freshman year of high school. This is a collab with Alexa. Ale I almost said Alexis. I'm it's sorry. A common occurrence. No, <laughs> there's a show that I watched, and th there's this girl named Alexis. In this video, we're gonna talk about boys, upperclassmen, productiveness, and image. In her video, we're talking about friends, balancing activities, image, and like extra stuff that you need to know. Happy popcorn. If you're not 110% best friends with them. You don't need to date them. Because then it's gonna give you a distraction. It's gonna turn into a bad situation. And then you're gonna be embarrassed at yourself. <laughs> That's what you That's why I can't talk about it. Spend your time with your friends and enjoy your first year of high school, making memories with your friends. Also, don't feel like you have to have a boyfriend by freshman year, or like your first kiss or whatever. Something special there. In my view, if you don't date for marriage, you're dating for heartbreak. I don't know, I think like experience is good. Like, to a certain point, like you can just be best friends with a, a ton of guys. Like you don't have to like make out with them or do stuff like that. Also, I would focus my freshman year on just forming close bonds with your friends. And I read this thing somewhere. High school is for meeting the bridesmaids, not the groom. It's so true. Because you're not gonna break up with your friends. They're there for a long time. With the relationship, it's like you don't know where it's gonna go and like, don't drop your friends for a boy. And definitely don't force a boyfriend. Also, if your boyfriend starts to be like controlling, leave. Say a lot of people about it. It took me a little while to do that. And once I did it, the said person trashed on me for it mm -hmm. and called me names because mm -hmm. what I did was wrong. But it's just like, I know my place, I know my work, I'm not gonna let you control me. It can be as simple as like him not liking the way you dress because yeah. you're revealing too much, or maybe him not liking decisions you're making, or not respecting your decision, or like mm -hmm. making you feel like whatever you say just like doesn't matter. Well, that's unhealthy. Telling you what to do. Toxic leap. If you're trying to find a boyfriend, if you really want to, for me, like I couldn't talk to boys until I was in eighth grade. Like I really could not. What really helped me was like just thinking of them kind of as girls and just like trying to be their friend. Like for upperclassmen, I was really scared going into freshman year. I realized that they're just like doing their own thing and they don't really care about you. A lot of them are super sweet and they're really helpful. As long as you're not an annoying freshman, walk on the right side of the hallway. So as long as you're just going there, doing your school, not being like a bother to everyone, you're fine. Don't try to cause too much attention on yourself. You oh, get it, you went to Dunkin', it's fine. Also, uh -huh. if you go to Dunkin's, bring some for us. Directiveness. She's really good with this. I try. Do. Something that really helped me is doing my homework right when I got home. If you have extra time in your class, don't go on social media. Do your homework. Mm -hmm. Especially if you do a sport. For me, I did gymnastics and I was there four hours every day after school. And you grinded in school. Like, you got things done. People uh, are talking to you. AirPods. Yeah, and they'll leave you alone. Mm -hmm. Simple. So for homework, I didn't have a planner or a notebook because there's not any time when you're in the class to like be writing down your homework. They don't give you five minutes just to do that. I used the notes checklist in my phone. That's what I did. And that's your planner. You save yeah. 20 bucks. It's always with you. I had a really good study playlist. I have it in my Apple Music, but just finding some nice instrumental, like lo-fi study beats in the background of doing your homework was super helpful for me. Words. I'm gonna need some water. <coughs> okay. I thought you were gonna say something like really insightful. <laughs> Oh, also, what really helped me be productive is not complaining about every single thing. Like, why I complain doing it? a lot? If you spend your whole time complaining, you're it'll gonna you're not gonna get anything done, and you're not gonna want to get anything done. If you switch your mindset to being like, I get to do this regardless of what fields I'm going to go into. My cousins that live in Saudi Arabia, like they they can't go to school. Not allowed to go because of their citizenship. I, I think back to that about how privileged we are to be going to school in the first place. I would set like small goals. Motivated me so much was buying nice pens. I had erasable pens. I looked forward to writing with them. I really did. I really didn't care. I started scribbling in my notebook and just like listening to what the teacher said. I, school became so much easier for me. For me, like having a certain amount of organization in my notes makes me more motivated yeah. to look at them. Ask your teacher to share with you the slide, oh, like yeah. the day before, because you can go through it. And for me, hearing things like three times really locks it into my mind. Like if they take that time to actually remember what you were wearing or to criticize it, they care too much. It's mm. not that serious, just like, Throw on clothes and go to school. Also, like dress code doesn't really matter because everyone else is breaking it. So if you want to hear the rest of our advice, make sure to go over to Alexia's channel. Her social media and her channel will be 
linked in the description. If you're still watching, I want you to comment what grade you're in because I'm actually really curious. Freshman year is fun. Yeah, actually it's live it up. 